I've always thought about Noah's Ark like an assembly hall. It looks like a typical Jehovah's Witness assembly hall. Like a box with no windows. And I thought all the animals walking around there talking. And I always pictured myself as a zebra. zebra. And I thought like, hello, brother lion. What will you do in the new system? And brother lion says, well, I will use my claw and my teeth to dig up potatoes. Like in the old wicked system where all the animals lived in peace and harmony. Because witnesses believe, literally, that all animals are herbivores. Even the dinosaurs were herbivores. The lions are herbivores. And that's wonderful when you're a kid, but when you turn five, you start thinking, that's weird, because, like, why would the, the, the spiders, brother spider, make a web to catch tomatoes when they fall? He could just climb up and eat a tomato before it falls. Or he could wait on the ground. Why in the middle? And why are they venomous? Is it because maybe we will use it as a medicine in the new system? Anyways, I thought a lot about that. And imagine you're a zebra, you're walking around in the ark, mingling with old animals and all looking forward to the new system. And then one day, Jehovah addressed all the animals and say, Welcome to the new system. We left the old wicked system and now we will open the door and first thing uh, it will be difficult to find food because I destroyed everything on the planet. Second, from now on you will be scared for the human beings because the human beings will kill you. Okay? In the new system and then you will also be scared uh, from each other, because from now on you will kill, destroy and eat each other. And that's kind of awkward. Can you imagine all the animals like looking at each other? And I would actually say, Jehovah, do you remember the old system where all of us we were living in peace and harmony? And one day you came and said, there's too much violence on earth. I hate violence. So I decided to kill everything and Mrs. Zebra said don't listen to him he's a weirdo and I said no I think we should listen to him it makes sense all the animals live in perfect peace and harmony also perfect peace and harmony with the human beings and because there's too much violence we should kill everything and float around in a box for a year now it makes sense so we trusted Jehovah and now this is the new system where everyone kills everyone. It's kind of weird when you think about it. But the other thing is, as a kid I was always thinking about the moment when Jehovah made this big announcement from now on you're allowed to kill and eat, eat each other. Why didn't the zebra kill the lion? That's what I would have done, you know, the, because really you could, when that guy, Jehovah say, I'll make an announcement, you know, you can expect almost anything. So think fast. When he says from now on, you're allowed to eat, to kill and eat each other. I would have kicked that lion's ass, ripped him apart and eaten him. <laughs> it would have been extremely awkward and Mrs. Zebra would have walked around apologizing to everyone for her husband's behavior but deep inside she know that's my zebra <laughs> thinking outside the box and we got rid of the lions so maybe it will be the same you know in the new system oh so Jehovah killed everyone in Armageddon except the Jehovah's Witnesses so he said Welcome to this peaceful and wonderful planet where we all will enjoy a turn it together. By the way, I introduced cannibalism, so good luck. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, have a nice day.